It wouldn't be a winter in the Midwest without some cold-hearted twists from Mother Nature. So here we sit. The boys head out to explore in search of fishable ice, and they once again find themselves in west central Minnesota, what they would call lakes country. And nestled in the middle of it all is Ottertail County, the crown jewel of Minnesota. Its borders encompass 1,048 lakes, more than any other county in the United States. A landscape littered with water, home to some of the biggest panfish you can find across the ice belt. An unexpected turn to their hopeful plans as they anxiously await the right conditions in the metro area. Who wouldn't love coming to the area where all their dreams could come true. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Season 4 of the Crappie Chronicles. A uh, little bit of change of events because of Mother Nature. I know we've all been dealing with it. We are up in Ottertail County. It's been probably the number one most requested place for people wanting to see us go. We went there in Season 2, people want to see us go back, so here we are because they have ice. And right now... All the guys are getting rigged because we've done a little bit of ice fishing, but the ice has been very sketchy wherever we've been or not existed. So Griff is now rigging up a schoolie, which is, I'm sure, extremely interesting. Oh, it's so fun. They cut things off, you know, $3 reel, modify. Well, I guess they're like $7 now. What? Must be popular. Yeah, they were like 6 something at the show, so. We're staying at Barky's Cabins. I just got the internet so we can continue doing lake research because we want to make sure we got a really dialed in plan. I think we're very close. So what do you think? I think we're pretty I close. think we're close. I think what's important to tell people is we're not going back anywhere we filmed last time. No, all new lakes this time. The biggest thing for people to know is we are not we have not been prepared. Like we have not researched this all year. We've no. researched for two days. We're yeah. coming up spur of the moment just like everybody else does when they come up oh, north. Yeah. And we're winging it. I got a pretty good list, though. So. This could go. This could go <laughs> so poorly. Yeah. Or I so, got it. Or so good. Or so good. I got a pretty good list, and I've fished up here quite a bit. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. We're always jacked when we come to Ottertail. I mean, it's a riot. It is fun up here. It is fun. Fish are thick. Fish fight hard. You can catch them shallow. Plenty of lakes. And a lot of lakes. So, what is it? What was it from last? 1048 lakes. 1048. Yeah, never forget. Yep, 1048. But what is important to know about this time we're up here, well, yes, we are fishing in Ottertail County. However, restrictions off, we're going to fish in all of lakes area. So we're going to go wherever the big ones are. We're doing research. We got to go wherever there's ice. And right now, a lot of places are fairly sketched. So what's important to know is Ottertail's right in the middle of it with 1048 lakes. Uh, one of the biggest areas of lakes that you can get to in the country and just go fish so <laughs> checking in on griff and his schoolie he's made no progress no i have actually i'm just filling the putting some backer in there so i can get it more one-to-one -one. instead of putting approximately 400 yards of line on it yes so perfect it's not the perfect thing but it works in a pinch so you see even we use electrical tape and now to enjoy a little break here PB. And for all of you that wanted it around the state of Minnesota last year, you can get it around the state. And it tastes just as good as it did last year. So I'll put a list right here of all the resorts that have it. So if you're going up to Red, Leech, 
Mille Lacs, um, and all the other places, we'll have them listed. And then there's a bunch of liquor stores in the Twin Cities metro area, so you can go get Break Your PB too. But it's late at night. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. I know you want to see us go catch fish because we really want to go catch fish. So tomorrow, we're going to kick it off. We're hoping, we're just hoping for some fun. Get this thing rolling. I think that's what uh, all of us in the state of Minnesota are waiting for right now is just go catch a bunch of fish and have fun. But don't worry. We got some tricks up our sleeve. We're going to go try to get some real big ones too. And Otter Tail County, lakes area, lakes country, it has them. We are GoPro on it right now. Look at it. Hi, Drew. Hello. Hi, Bob. Raining. It is definitely raining. We're not bringing the big camera out now. That's what the truck looks like. She got a little wet. Ice doesn't look too much better. There's a wall, though. Hello. All right, guys. We're hiking out here. Me and Waldo are towing the Scout Max 100 right now. If you notice, we make extra long ropes to make it easier. And there's been people fishing out here, but we still got Griff leading with the spud bar. He almost just fell. Yes, we could be wearing cleats, but we hate wearing cleats when fishing because it scares fish. So we're just gonna try not to fall. And there is a ton of ice out here, and he's still checking in front of us with the spot bar. good content, though, when you do fall. Yeah, when one of us will fall, you'll laugh. We haven't marked Oh, here you go. Oh, you're marking? I just had one. Oh! It's a crappie! Griff, you did it! Woohoo! <laughs> it's a dink. We caught a crappie, and we're not on two inches of ice. That is exciting. She's a beaut. It's very pretty. They're not very intelligent either. They're not very big. Very, very dumb. We got a chaser. We'll flip him. <laughs> that one looks even smaller. It is. Oh, it was the same size. It is the same size? He just had no fight. Did they all leave? All right, we've caught probably 10 fish out of here so far. Griff, what do, what do fish look like when they're stunted? You wanna explain that to people? Very large eyes compared to their body size. Not good genetics. Yes. That's, that's typically a no-no. And Pink, he wants eaters and that's not quite up to his uh, standards. Bye. I don't even think if we were like really, really, really trying to get eaters, we'd keep those. No. Get off of here. Yeah. We're leaving. New lake. Switch lakes and complete plans. We threw. I mean, we had a good amount of ice on the last lake, but this one is stinking nuts how much ice we have. I mean, we have like well over 10 inches, so. We're on an off bay of a really big lake that does have solid crappies in it. So we're hoping that a, a lot of them are in here still before they move out to the deep water for the year. So it looks like there's a lot of weeds in here. So we're going to fish the two pinch points right here in between two points. And there's a little depression in between. And see if we can catch some crappies. All we need are eaters. That's it. We're not, we're not being picky today. So we're going to get to walking, but yeah, we're going to go for the weeds. Yeah, so you can see the targets here. We came out. We're just on a little edge here, coming up to two points in front of us, and uh, these are all fish along here. So, you should be marking, Waldo. And now Griff goes. Mm. 
never mind. Not big. It's a decent gill though. Not too shabby. Oh, little gills. Another blue gill. Boop, boop, boop. Copy. Crappy. Yeah, so we uh, kind of came across this small basin. Um, it's a little bay leading out to a big main lake that probably doesn't have safe ice, but uh, we kind of saw an area we thought there was two points. We saw a little trough in there. Let's, we said, let's work across it. We got to this edge of it and uh, we seen a couple weed stalks and, and around those weed stalks was some bluegills and crappies. So hit them up and uh, caught a couple small ones right away and then got a really nice eater. So yeah, we're just gonna keep trying to stay on them and uh, keep working it. But I'm using my rod, the Griff's Chronicle, the old black drop kick as usual, and that last bluegill st stole my Mackie Mackie, so I need another one. Little gills, little gills. Little gills on the gold drop kick with uh, Jamie XL, that's actually trimmed down. And it's a motor oil gold fleck, Jamie XL. No nice crappies yet. Griff's getting a couple crappies. He's over there in the weeds. I'm just outside the weeds, and it seems like I'm only getting gills. And I did get that one small little crappie, but there's a bunch of schools that are just swimming around here. So we're going to keep trying to break this down and see if we can't isolate where the larger crappies are. A nice little gill there. Kind of having to weed through them. The crappies are hanging out with them, but you gotta kind of try to play keep away with the gills if you can. But why was it great? What are you? I can see you swimming all over down there. They're strong. Do you want the bob grip or is it like a 12? No, he's an eater. There's a nice gill. That's a really nice blue gill. Hmm. Heck yeah. Not a crappie. So that's a solid gill. That I would say is eater any day, but we're not eating crappies. Or we're not eating gills, we're eating crappies. Oopsies, I screwed up. There's a eater crappie. Came in and hit her like a freight train. And the plastic's all screwed up, but beautiful eater. Beautiful eater. Gold drop kick and a motor oil gold fleck Jamie XL. I got the first couple appendages trimmed off, so it made it a little bit shorter. Looked a little bit better on the four millimeter drop XL or drop kick. It, uh, it's stopping good though. And I got another. 
That's a little crappy. That is disappointing. That is disappointing. Oh, hello. Gotta like them, they're already waiting for you. Ooh. That one was mad. Little guy. That one was no doubt going to eat it. Bart. Just smashed this one. 13 and a, I believe it was 13 and a quarter. I'll measure again. Yep, 13 and a quarter. But she got one eye. Battle worn bruiser. Let's uh let's let her go. We'll chat after. And she's off. Um yeah, so what we've been doing is just kind of hopping around these more sporadic weeds. It's not like a giant weed line, but uh what you want to do is you find a hole that's close to like one weed stock and so like literally the weed that i was on is right here and so i just been keeping my vexar to this side of the hole to keep it from see really seeing the entire weed patch and then i just been working this edge up and down um but yeah we've been getting a lot of eaters and uh that was the first real like good one we've got but been seeing a lot and i think closer to dark here you know typically these up north lakes like that night that uh sunset bite can be really hot so we're just going to keep at it, keep hole hopping around, and uh, keep catching eaters, and hopefully some more of those bigger ones. That's a big gill. That's a really nice gill. Nice one. Okay, so we've been noticing that fish have been hanging around weeds. And so there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do with your FLX 30. Uh, the first is gonna be adjusting your cone angle. So if you're in pretty thick weeds, tighten it up a little bit so you can you know, have an easier time shooting between the weeds. So go to a high frequency. And then if you're kind of right next to weeds, try to go as wide as possible. So the lower you get with your frequencies, the wider your cone angle gets. And that just gives you better bite anticipation when in shallow water. So I try to keep it as wide as I possibly can without filling up my screen full of weed clutter. So if you notice that happening, you know, tighten it back up a little bit and that should help clear up the screen. I actually got a fish down there right now, so I'm gonna drop down. But, um, that's the biggest thing and then low power mode we preach it a lot low power mode is such a huge player for us um, it's pretty much like a stealth unit or like a stealth mode on the <laughs> sorry <laughs> I had one charge in um, it's like a stealth mode on the unit almost it's uh it's pretty cool and I swung and a miss it must have been a bluegill Oh my gosh, I'm swinging and missing again. We'll let you get back to fishing. Yeah, but that's the best way to uh, to set up the unit. There we go, a little bluegill. Ooh, nice little pumpkin seed. Um, that's the best way to set up your unit for shallow water, really. And then don't use auto-ranging when you are in that shallow water. Um, 
because you drop it down to low power mode so auto ranging is going to have a hard time you know locking onto the bottom so make sure you use a manual depth range and that's going to make for a picture perfect screen every time and adjust your gain level somewhere between three and five is going to be your sweet spot so that's where i would definitely have the unit set for so. Bluegill. We have found a very good group of them. And the sun's starting to go down. You gotta weed through the gills, but there's plenty of crappies. Bluegill. Gill. That's what the, we're looking for though. Little small. Well, that was the first one on the pinhead. <laughs> Beautiful seeds, they're cool looking. Cool looking fish. So I've just got another solid eater here. Um, yeah, just been hop, whole hopping around doing the weed thing that we've been talking about. But uh, I've been using my rod to get these super fine, refined movements. Um, it seems like they don't want it like super aggressive. Like they'll come in pretty hot and then they get there and they kind of stall out. So you got to just like work them like with little small movements and then they'll finally commit. And like the bite's not just, just slam where your spring barber just goes down. It just barely goes like that, just leans just a tiny. And you set the hook on them and they got it i mean they it's crazy how they can bite it that light and you still uh barely they barely move your spring bobber you know like and they've got it in their mouth a good inch when you reel them up so it's like well how do you do that you know yeah move my spring bobber this much and it's that far in their mouth it's like it doesn't really make sense but well and this type of bite is exactly why we made your rod right the ultra finesse kind of bite and as the sun sets here, we're going to try to pop one more big one. But either way, it's been fun to this set hooks it. now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's been awesome. But this isn't it. This is a, it's either it's a solid eater or it's one about this size. So it's fun. They're biting. Nice gills up here, too. And it's not two inches of ice. Yeah, that's true. It's like 10. 
Yeah, it's nice. Hey, I got a crappie. It might be a little too late. Griff has already basically filled the bucket by himself, but I did get a crappie. I've been busy filming a bunch. But there's a baby. It's been fun to get some hook sets in. Day one, up in Otter Tail County. Cannot complain. Good to be back and on good ice. <laughs> All right, today went good, right, Waldo? Oh yeah. Yep, we had a little bit of a camera issue. That wasn't the deal. Yeah, we're shooting this on a long lens right now because the other one is maybe maybe broken. I can't even zoom in on it. Okay, Dude, Waldo, what, what do you want to say? <laughs> well, the fishing was pretty good. We, I mean, we had ourselves a meat run. Speaking of meat run, the meat run hoodies and a couple other hoodies are available on the merch store now. It is live, so definitely check it out. If you missed out on the first drop, here's a chance at not all the items, but some of the, some of the items from the last one. So it's available, CropTheChronicles.com. Check it out for sure. Right now we're gonna go and get some food. Rusty we're doing, nail. yeah, we're doing another meat run. We're going yeah. to the Rusty Nail because we don't yeah. have pink. No, we don't. We need pink. We obviously don't have food now. So we're gonna go to the Rusty Nail, and then the owner of Barkey's actually said that the what was it, the PB and J yeah, wings? wings? Yeah. Apparently they're really stinking good. So. I'm excited. We're gonna go smash some food right now. Jeff, what about your hoodie? Oh, this one? This one's this one's dope, but you can't have it yet. It's all mine. It's really hard not to look awkward in a public place with a camera, but we're here at the Rusty Nail. This place is dope. <laughs> it's pretty sweet actually it's it's stinking awesome i mean any place that has a a moose shoulder mount in it, it's going to be pretty good moose chandeliers yeah moose chandeliers yeah I mean, this place is sweet so we just ordered some of those pb and j wings so we'll see how those turn out but yeah i don't know i'm excited it's a new place i haven't been here before i've never been here i'm excited I've never, I've never had pb and j wings so that's pretty sweet yeah excited yeah, got yeah, I'm looking for it. And I've been looking at like what people have been ordering and it looks really stinking good. So I'm excited. And Waldo's starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. I Realistically, I could probably eat this piece of paper right now. I'm pretty hungry. They don't look bad. Were they peanut buttery? I don't know. We can try that. I smell peanut buttery. I smell peanut buttery. I'm going to dunk it in the jelly just because that's what they're known for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like one of the best wings I've ever had. It's really good. Even without the jelly. I went no jelly. All the wind jelly. It, it's it's good. I'm going to try it. Back time. Very good. You're on camera. Uh, they're eating peanut butter and jelly wings. And they're so good. Is that our camera? That looks lit. Is that Pinky? Say hi to the camera. <laughs> eat your burger. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna eat this spicy jalapeno first. Nobody cares about your soup, Waldo. I really like it. They do have really good burgers. Like the no. patty's really good. No. How spicy is it? Not that bad. A little bit more now. <laughs> it's still not that yet. bad. Are we gonna get grip? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna sweat like a mofo. <laughs> I mean, sweat. 
<laughs> but I like to eat. And Waldo said his soup was good, so that's what he's dealing with right now. That's bomb. I told you the patties are super good. Like Fine. really good. The sweats. They're the sweats. Is the heat good? Or is it's a good heat. I'm a little sweaty though. It's that Minnesota spice thing, you know. Griff, we've known this forever. Griff orders the spiciest thing on the menu always and just sweats. <laughs> Every time. But I love it. He loves it though, but he's I fun. love the spice, just I got that Minnesota thing. I sweat. It's snowing. It is snowing. It is definitely Well though, how was our dinner? That was really freaking good. Don't slip. It is it's not raining anymore. Yeah. No, it is That's not the good news. Anymore. It is now accumulating snow. So we're even actually, better we're actually kind of excited because there's more ice up here than we thought on some lakes so woo, this is actually going to really help i think with the bites the next couple days because we're we got a couple clear water lakes in plan or in mind and then we got a couple like dirty water lakes in mind too so um i think this will help quite a bit actually hopefully they're not as spooky and i don't know we're, we always welcome early ice snow we do. As long as we it's not a lot. Snow. As long as it's not a lot. Yeah, two to three inches. Now we go flay fish at Barkies. Yeah. Yeah, so we just got back from eating the delicious meal at, uh, where was it again? The Rusty Nail. And uh, very good food, by the way. Now we're back at the cleaning shack. All those zippering them up here. And uh, we only got one knife, so he's kind of... Got to do it on his own. Sorry, Waldo. Um, we'll just supervise, though. We're good at that. Um, but yes, if you're up here and you need a really nice, warm, heated place, this is the place to be. Barkey's Resort, like, look at the fish cleaning room. They got a heater. I mean, they got water. Garbage. Garbage. I mean, what can you ask for? It's snowing outside. We're in here. What, it's probably 70 degrees in here? It's beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful.